everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus, bringing you the evening video. Hope you're having a very great day today. God bless every single one of you. Now, in this video, I'm going to update exactly what the 10 meter winds are showing now. I'm still showing a hurricane for Jamaica. I'm still showing a hurricane going over Cuba, and I'm still showing a hurricane for Florida. I'm also going to show you just a little bit of the ensembles and an update of what possibly can still happen. I'm still showing it can go towards Louisiana, guys. Plus, I'm going to show you the rainfall amounts. I'll show you according to the Euro, and I'll show you according to the GFS. Make sure you share the video. Keep everybody updated as far as what's going on and the rainfall, because there's going to be a lot of heavy rainfall all the way up the East Coast. Now, according to the 8 o'clock update, it's still showing Storm Elsa, still at 45 miles per hour, 1,005 millibars, moving 28 miles per hour west-northwest. But in three days, it will be around Jamaica where it showed the worst case scenario this morning of a Cat 2 hurricane. I'm still showing a hurricane for Jamaica. I'm still showing a hurricane for Florida. I'm not showing Cat 2 this afternoon, but that could change. Because I am showing that it still has a potential to be a Cat 2 or even a Cat 3 hurricane as it goes by Jamaica within three days. And the latest on the tracks, it still has it somewhere around Jamaica, somewhere towards Cuba in three days and in four days it will be somewhere towards the western side of cuba and in five days a little bit further along than it showed this morning it could be moving a little bit quicker but it'd be more towards either the middle of the gulf or more towards tampa florida now if you look at all the model intensity guidance you'll see that within 36 hours to 48 hours most of them has it up to a cat one hurricane and even a couple of them bring it all the way up to a cat two hurricane within 72 hours and not only a cat 2 hurricane but also we have a cat 3 potential now so for noah just to have it at 60 miles per hour throughout the whole course through these warm waters is just ridiculous so let's take a look at what we have for the model guidance so far it's still showing that it'll be a 997 going by windward islands and then going through the caribbean towards dominican republic and you see it does get down to a 991 as a matter of fact, it stays a 991 all the way from Dominican Republic. And so I really believe that that will ramp up all the way to Jamaica. So from Dominican Republic, 83, 84, even 85 degree sea surface temperatures, it stays 991. That's hard to believe, especially when the shear is not strong, uh, knocking down the strength. I am showing that that still will be intensity right there. I guarantee that will be updated. And remember, all the links are there in the description, and I do show the 10-meter winds right there, and I do show it is still a hurricane. Then as it goes towards Cuba, it, stre it strengthens down to a 983 right before it goes over the mountains. And you can see 983 is still strong. It still gets it down to a Cat 1 hurricane. And as it passes over Cuba and goes towards the Key West, it strengthens down to a 988, and it still shows the same somewhat general path going up the coast of Florida, except now it's showing it's going more towards Tampa than it did before going towards the Florida Panhandle. Then as it goes across Florida, and you got to remember this being a hurricane and getting on land as a tropical storm, wherever this system is, it's getting a lot of tropical storm winds, but also everything north and east side of it as well, because it is north and east side loaded. Going to northern Florida, 993, and strengthening down some as it goes towards Georgia and then weakening towards South Carolina. But then it weakens greatly, goes over towards South Carolina, North Carolina. And then as it's passing by North Carolina and going towards Virginia, all the storms will be on the north side still for Maryland, Delaware, and the northeast. As this goes up the northeast, bringing storms to southern Jersey, Long Island, Connecticut, Massachusetts, even towards Maine still as a tropical storm. Now, as we look at the perturbed members and see what's new with the model guidance, a lot of the things are the same. But there's a few di things different. I'll show you a couple of them. Like right here, number three, I can sneak across Cuba just like the H Wharf was showing. Go on the right side of Florida, the east side, over towards Miami and the west side of the Bahamas as it sneaks through the southeast and causes storm for south carolina look right here on number nine actually nine and ten you can see that this is still trending and going towards louisiana still on a lot of ensembles it is still showing that straight for louisiana mississippi either not as strong or intensified strong like number 10 and it is a trending a good bit guys you can see right here on nine and ten it shows louisiana one showing 
way stronger. It even shows you right here on 13, it can go towards Louisiana. You can see right here on 20, it heads towards Louisiana and goes towards Mississippi and Alabama. If we look to see what the possibilities are, if you look at right here on number three, it could be a 997, that's going from a 999. So it would intensify going towards Miami and right up the east side of Florida. In the same thing right here on number 15, that it could intensify towards Miami down to 988, uh, 984, 979, and go towards South Carolina. And if you look right here on 21, it could go past Florida Key still. And with what we've been seeing, uh, intensify down to 984 and going towards somewhere by Tallahassee. That's over by Sebastian. So that is a possibility. The rest of the ensemble show that it goes towards Louisiana. Now, as far as the rainfall amounts, here's the difference. You have five days with the Euro, and as you go to 10 days, you can see where the heaviness of the rain is. Still go from Dominican Republic and go through uh, the Bahamas and curve out to Atlantic, and everything being north side, it would put some storms somewhere along northern Florida and going into the ocean. As well as you can see that big pocket of rainfall towards Texas, and that actually is very much heavy rainfall. Uh, it's west of San Antonio, and it's up to 18, 19 inches, some places 16 inches. And that's within the next 10 days. That's from 5 to 10 days, so it is within a 5-day period. Now, the GFS is the one that's pretty much been on track for this storm. It shows that the heaviness will be above Jamaica, so if it goes pretty much over or a little bit north of Jamaica, it will be north side loaded, so all the rain or most of the rain would be off the island which is a good thing you would be getting the winds though but all the heaviness of the rain will be going north of jamaica go past cuba and in, in five days be right there by florida keys and so far it's shown it to be anywhere from five plus inches of rainfall within the first five days and then once you go from the first five days to the next five days you can see the track going straight up florida a big heavy spot for for northern florida as it does go over Maryland, Delaware, uh, Long Island, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and eastern Massachusetts and southern Maine. Y'all be getting some heavy rainfall uh, as well. But for the full track, we have it all the way from Cape Coral with 5 inches, Tampa 4 inches, Gainesville uh, over 5 inches, Jacksonville uh, over 6 inches. So it is a heavy spot right here towards Jacksonville for Florida. But you got Daytona, four inches. As it goes across southern Georgia with over five inches towards uh, South Carolina, more towards Charleston with over four inches. Then as you get towards Virginia with four inches, southeast Maryland and Delaware also with four inches. And it looks like the rainfall would be a little over three, four inches for southern New Jersey. And for Long Island, you get anywhere from three inches on the west side to six inches on the east side, even nine inches all the way on the edge. But you can see Rhode Island, Connecticut, Hartford, all y'all gonna get anywhere from four to five inches as this passes by, as well as Southern Maine. Southern Maine is gonna be getting four inches as well. We put it on a Euro to try and figure out why there's so much rainfall for Texas. You can see that right around a third, you get a storm that pretty much pops up over Southern Texas and it stays there for a while and rumbles it puts a lot of rainfall a lot of storms but it puts heavy rainfall all week long just for right there in southern texas mostly by san antonio a little bit west of san antonio but that does last for a good while we're already on the seventh and you still got storms right there so that's why you have very heavy rainfall and it was pretty uh catastrophic man it was 16 inches of rainfall within a five day period plus look at the waters we're talking about Sea surface temperatures of 82 degrees. It intensifies in 82 degrees. It gets all the way up to 60 miles per hour winds in 82 degrees. But yet it goes towards Dominican Republic at 83. It goes towards uh, Jamaica, 83 degrees. Passes Jamaica, 85 degrees. 85 towards Cuba. Uh, 83 towards Florida Key West. All the way up Florida is 83 degrees. So you're telling me all through all that, especially the intensification of 85 that just is just 60 miles per hour the whole time? I don't believe it. And this right here is the H wharf. And the H wharf is what's picking up potential Cat 2, Cat 3 hurricane, just like we saw this morning. And this is it going over to Windward Islands as a 996, strengthening down to a 994. And as we go on the way towards Jamaica, which I'm showing to be more believable than it being a 991 
all the way to Jamaica. That just seems impossible. And the wharf is picking up on something even stronger, which is more uh, believable. Because all I'm picking up so far is about 30 to 40 knot winds at very high levels on this storm. I'm not showing there's going to be enough to shear it uh, down to keep it a 991. But the wharf has it going all the way down to a 964 on the east side. Uh, of Jamaica and that would confirm the cat 2 hurricane that we saw this morning even possibly a cat 3 as it passes by the island north side of it as everything's been showing 971 weakens a little bit as it goes towards Cuba all the way down to a 977 and if you look at the model guidance to see what's going on with the shear you can see it goes from a 991 it stays a 991 all the way to Jamaica and me, I got a little problem with that being like that. This just don't seem right. And when you go to look at the winds, you can see that the winds are all the way good until it hits right around 500 uh, millibar level. Then it gets some wind shear. It's actually getting 43 knot wind shear from the 200 millibar all the way down to the 850. And you can see the disorganized winds instead of going straight across. But that's still not strong shear. And then as it goes towards Jamaica, it's still a 991. And when you go to look at the shear to see if it's even gained any, the shear is actually going down to 39 knot winds of shear. And you can see the levels. It has very good vorticity, has good winds going from the west to the east. Then the shear is a little bit further up above. So the shear is going from a mid-level to an even higher level. So for it to not strengthen all the way through that time, even though the shear has gone down, it just seems not right to me. Something's wrong with this model guidance. I think something's being hidden. So let's go through the 10 meter winds real quick and see what the update information is. As far as Barbados and for the Windward Islands, I'm still showing the same strength. Uh, it's still a tropical storm. It's still 40 and 50 miles per hour winds as the storm does pass by you. And for Puerto Rico, I'm showing it actually has gone down for you. The tropical storm force winds is a little bit further to the south. And now you'd be in the 20s at this point. You won't see any tropical storm conditions. And as we go towards Jamaica, it gets pretty strong. If you look for a moment right there, I mean, I know it says 60 miles per hour winds, but I'm still picking up that there's still going to be intensification of a hurricane before it goes towards Jamaica. And right before landfall on Jamaica, it does show a little bit of weakening where before it showed actually strengthening. So like I said, it's kind of weird how it shows the same number through all of them hours. But so far, it has gone all the way down to tropical storm strength for the east side of Jamaica all the way into the 60s. So it goes from hurricane strength down to tropical storm strength. And then it strengthens right back up to a hurricane as it goes over northern Jamaica and starts to leave. Then as it heads towards Cuba to go towards uh, the Florida Keys, I'm still picking up that it still has hurricane strength intensity with this storm as it goes so they don't have a lot of shear but yet the strength isn't getting super big like it did this morning which don't seem right it seemed like it would be some intensification there unless it or it'd be more wind shear there or it'd be cooler waters there but it's not showing any of that i do believe the one from this morning we will see again tomorrow and i'm still showing hurricane strength to, by florida keys y'all will be getting uh tropical storm strength to maybe 50s and 60s on the west side, but I'm still showing hurricane strength as it passes by the Florida Keys. Still going up the west coast of Florida, bringing tropical storm winds and 50 and 60 miles per hour winds. And it does strengthen a little bit more right on the side of Florida. And you see how it turns a little bit more. So Brian, be careful. It looks like it's going a little more towards Sarasota. And now we're strengthening up to 84 miles per hour 10 meter winds as this storm passes by and along the coast you're getting really good winds the white is tropical storm winds that orange is actually uh 60s or 70 miles per hour winds and you can see them 60 miles per hour winds all up the coast all the way towards tampa with 40s and 50s as this goes straight up the coast towards the same place cedar keys and i'm still showing that it's still going to be a tropical storm with a big uh, wind field for northern Florida. I'm still showing tropical storm strength on both sides of the state as this passes over you. And then as it goes towards South Carolina, towards Georgia, you can see the orange again. That's just showing 50s. As it goes towards South Carolina, still a tropical storm. 
as it goes towards North Carolina. Still a tropical storm. It's a, it's a little weaker than what Florida is dealing with, but it's still tropical storm conditions. Uh, the only thing I'm showing different now is that this is a little more southern. Heads out to the Atlantic a little bit sooner, and maybe Delaware, Maryland, New Jersey, Long Island. Maybe you won't get the winds. So Virginia, Delaware, Maryland, Southern Jersey, Long Island. Maybe you won't be getting the tropical storm of 50 miles per hour winds that we that we showed this morning because it shows it going into Atlantic a little bit sooner. But I believe on the update that we will see this continue to track just like we saw it this morning. I believe it still will go y'all way. I will update you in the morning. And I was about to get it ready for you guys to show you uh, the last bit of the video. And it looks like WSV3, because it does live updates, is actually updating the intensity of this storm. And when it's finished, I will put a picture on my community tab to show you what it says. Because I'm pretty sure it's not going to say tropical storm all through this. That's just ridiculous. All right, I'm going to play this for you. This is NAM 3K. It shows you the next 60 hours. You do have storms going across northeast. And with that cold front, it will be bringing more storms across the south and southeast. And I will update that intensity track as soon as WSV3 updates. I'm sure that's going to change as well. Same time, God bless you all. Hope you have a very blessed day today. I hope those that need uh, preparation did, did get prepared and did get something that you need to at least get flooding or protect your windows or whatever you need to do. Because... Regardless, I can see anywhere from a, a low-grade Cat 1 hurricane to a strong tropical storm coming across Florida. At the same time, let's pray to our Father. Amen. May He protect us at all times. Psalm 82. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth amongst the gods. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? See law. Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said, Ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. Amen. Bless you all. Hope you have a very pleasant evening. I will upload early in the morning for tomorrow. I have everything set up with WSV3 and everything I need with OBS now. God bless you all. All glory. It does go to Yahweh. God of Jacob. Amen. <laughs> good evening and good night, y'all. God bless you all.